My name is Solis Ruff, and I am the Pampered Chef of Texas, and hopefully your Pampered Chef. I am coming to you tonight from my kitchen in Austin, Texas, talking to you from the capital of my home state to your capital in Sacramento, California. And so when I was a new consultant back in 1995, you know, the olden days when we did live shows, I would always bring my calendar to the basement of Maria Damjanovic, my director, and I would approach the season's hosts and ask them, when is your next party? And if I come and I carry your stuff into the house and I help you take orders at the end, can I come hang out so I can watch what you do? Because I didn't have a lot of confidence and I didn't know how to phrase things. And those were such helpful experiences because I learned that you can make mistakes. <laughs> I learned that you can mess things up. I learned that you don't have to memorize the number on all the products. I learned so many things. And that was a good thing to learn because my first show was done by Robin Anderson, who was perfection <laughs> and never messed up anything. And I thought, I can't possibly be as good as her. So I needed to be amongst my peers and see what was that they were doing. And it gave me a lot more confidence in my own ability to be a pampered chef. So I was telling Maria, I went to a live sh show this week, or at least live on Facebook. And it brought me back to those days where it was like, oh yeah, people talk about products differently than I do. And I really can learn a lot from seeing how other consultants do it. And so I suggested that perhaps we could take an opportunity to go ahead and do a five minute segment at part of our sales meeting and give everybody sort of a chance to have a turn to do their favorite product so that they could work out the bugs of being nervous about talking about the Pampered Chef products. Because after all, your sales cluster is a very safe group and no one's going to criticize how you do it. So this is definitely the place, this is the place to make mistakes. <laughs> so I'm gonna to talk to you tonight about my favorite, the Rock Croc. And so what brought this to my attention was I, my show this week was hosted by a woman who said, I just want to know more about one pot meals. And as soon as she said one pot, well, one pot came to mind, the rock crock, because it is the most versatile piece in my entire cookware set. You can look through the catalog and you can see we have everything from stainless steel to cast iron, and all of it is great in its own way. But this particular piece is what I refer to as the little black dress. Everybody has to have one in their closet because it's so versatile, it goes anywhere. And that is this. You can dress it down and put beans in it and take it to a barbecue, or you can dress it up and put it in the center of your serving table and it's nice sort of low gloss black shade is not gonna conflict with any of your other serving wear. So I really, really like this piece. But not only that, it goes everywhere from the freezer to the refrigerator, to the oven, to the stovetop, to the broiler, to the grill, even to a base of a slow cooker, and then into the dishwasher after all that. So this really does go everywhere. I knew I was in love with this pot the first time I used it and I made French onion soup. And I had cooked it on the stovetop, and then I put the croutons and the cheese and I stuck it under the broiler and it got nice and toasty and melty and gooey. And I stuck it in the base of the crock pot on warm and my guests served themselves throughout the party. When it was finished, I still have a little bit left, put the glass lid on it, stuck it right into the refrigerator. The next day I wanted a sandwich with my French onion soup. I took it from the refrigerator, I stuck it in the microwave. When it was done, I went from the microwave to the dishwasher. And then I knew it was true love. Up to 752 degrees, amazing. So you'll never be able to outheat this thing. The glass lid is heatable up to 400 degrees. So I just can't think of a better addition to your kitchen than the Rock Croc. And if you have any questions, please be sure to put them in the bottom of the YouTube or on my Facebook. I'm happy to answer any questions that you might have. Maybe you're interested in getting it for free, like I got mine for free. Talk to me about becoming a consultant. I'd be happy to show you how. So I hope that you love your rock crock as much as I do. 
And I hope that you're a little less intimidated about doing a product demonstration in front of your sales team. And I'm looking forward to seeing who is going to nominate themselves to do the next demo at our next sales meeting. Thanks.